welcome back to Basics Homestead. Today we're snowed in. Well, probably not snowed in, but it's our first uh, snowstorm of the season. We're supposed to get 30 centimeters of snow, 12 inches. That's a lot. Um, kids are super happy. They were super early. They woke up like at 6.30 this morning. My eldest son, Philip, was outside by 7.00 before like usually he wakes up like around 6 50 he was outside playing with snow playing with the neighbors in front he was having a blast and then went to school so the schools are not closed today uh so i know that they're gonna have loads loads of fun today but for my part before i tackle uh shoveling the snow i have a couple of things to do first before i can go outside doing that but i want to bring you up close it's a Christmas tree. Uh, we made that, I think, two weekends ago with the kids. It's a real one. I have a couple of projects I want to do with it. One of them is I want to cut a couple of branches before it dries up too much. And I want to infuse it in vinegar. Uh, I want to see if I can um, use it as an all-purpose cleaner. The ornaments are mainly passed down to me. Some of them are from uh, family members but some are from my dad's childhood. These are some that I made myself. Uh, the kids did some also a couple of years back. Uh, crafts from school. Some are left over from... Um, my first tree when I moved out of the house, I have a couple of those, and I'm hoping that because these are um, these are uh, glass, so if I drop them, they're casualties. So uh, I'm gonna hope that at least three of them survive, so <laughs> that, that that heirloom that I had, uh, I can pass on pass it on to my kids. And I also have a couple of shelves installed on the window uh, with decoration because the kids are still very young and they love playing with them. Uh, I have like some a little bit everywhere around the house. I still have some to do, but that's my Christmas tree. There is another project that I'm working on. Well, that I, I started and I'm still working on and I did do a video about it. It's homemade ornaments and I'm looking for the one that my son made. Uh, I oh, know he brought it to me this morning, so it's down there. So I bought plastic ornaments balls and the top opens. And you see, this is like a whole lot of things that I dehydrated and he just had so much fun uh, putting everything inside. And I just attached the ribbon. Uh, I did this one. This was from an, an ornament that I unassembled and then just put pop it inside. I did this one. So my daughter has three in her room and I still have a couple that I want to do for my, uh, as gifts and, um, <clears throat> for the, for the Christmas tree. So if you're looking for crafts ideas to do during the holidays, uh, like I found some at Dollarama, like the dollar store, I found some at Michael's, uh, and they're, they're not that expensive and I'm not using the glass when they're plastic. So if they drop, uh, the only thing that's going to happen and what's what's inside is just going to mix up. So it's a beautiful uh, experiment. Uh, I'm actually going to be sitting down with the kids this weekend and we're going to complete the rest. I just dehydrated a lot of stuff. You, like there's, you can use spices that you have around the house. I just made a plate for them and they're just using their little fingers and they're just dropping everything inside. Before I finish my coffee, uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my next project to do today. And is, I have to add to my, my warm, little worms, my worm farms for warm casting. So um, I received my order of worms and I have to add it to the colony. But first, I have to finish coffee. Survival depends on it. <laughs> Once I'm alone, I have started to do something different. I light some candles, drink my coffee, look outside, 
and I just take the time to relax, to reflect, just plain self-love, and I just transform this normal uh, coffee time into a me time that is precious, and I create this special environment for me. So my worms come comes from a Ontario website called Mother Worms. Um, I ordered my worms, uh, my original farm, this one, over the summer. And I thought that by ordering a small amount of worms and a lot amounts of cocoons, I would be able to establish my small, well, my colony uh, fast. Uh, but from what I'm seeing, um, it's slow. So many things can be in the cards for this. It could be, I'm still a newbie, I'm a beginner. Uh, I'm still trying to figure this out. Uh, but either the conditions are not ideal or simply it takes longer than I imagined. So I ordered this time half a pound of red wigglers and I ordered an extra, um, like it comes with like this add-on. It is cold here. Uh, they did a great job shipping it. Um, they added insulation in the bottom, insulation on the top. Uh, I was advised with shipping uh, when it was shipped out, when it was on its way, and then when it was delivered. So just in case I was like a little bit away from my house, I would know that the shipping's coming. So great job for that. And from what I'm seeing, they're still moving uh, in there. And I'm just going to add the worms to the farm, to the colony, and see what happens. One of my kids play with the worms, probably Cedric, because there's food a little bit everywhere. I know you don't want this because then you'll have fruit for lies, but then, you know, <laughs> kids are kids. Knowing I was receiving the worms, uh, I froze up some peels of banana and some cucumber uh, skin. So I had this trick given to me by a friend. Uh, she said that um, it will add moisture to the, um, to the bedding. So I think I'm just gonna start with the two banana peels, the cucumber. So they were fed here, I just put all of the food on this side and you want the, the food to be covered unless you're going to have unwelcome friends and i'm just gonna add a little bit of water because this is a bit dry and i'm just gonna keep the bed out for a couple of days to make sure they're acclimated. So I'm gonna put the website of Mother Worms here. Their service is impeccable. I sent them a message a week before I was planning to order and I asked them, if I give you my postal code, can you tell me if uh, it's there's a risk of freezing the worms? They, we came back and forth and uh, we realized I still had like one more week of open. It's the second order I do for them. They're just ama an amazing company and they're local, they're from Canada. So last thing, why am I doing this worm farm? Yes, it is fun for the kids, but it's not just that. So with everything going up, I would like to be a little bit more self-sufficient on uh, compost. So I am in the works brainstorming on a way to use the cold manure from my rabbits as a plan A and a system that I can build in my backyard so that I can be as self-sufficient as possible with compost because every single year I have to invest 
a lot of money on compost because I can't produce that much. And worm casting is a good source of manure. I know I still have lots of travel to do before I can be self-sufficient on compost or even have a lot of worm casting, but I want to establish this farm during the winter so that when I go probably at the end of the next year, I'll probably be able to harvest. I don't know. This is a learning curve for me, but it is a journey that I want to do to be more self-sufficient with at least my rabbits and my worms. Still snowing. Going outside, selling the snow, and I'm bringing some back up. Let's see how that goes. Thank you for passing by the homestead today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.